Hello folks and welcome to what's this life for.org. This is Kaya. Kaya, my helpful assistant for today's edition of this Say it loud. This is not mommy's kitchen. This ain't your mama's kitchen. That's right. Today is beef stew edition. Yeah? You know, I've been told uh, uh, on several occasions. I think it was uh, Rhea's grandma maybe who first made the beef stew. And then Rhea started to make it, and I'm just telling you, it was awesome. And then I got in on the, the action. Hey, 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 pay attention. Yeah, act like you care. Um, I get in on the action, make some beef stew, and let me tell you something. We happen to have a, a picky eater. She doesn't like to eat much, but I'm going to tell you what, she can live off some beef stew. You like Daddy's beef stew? Yes. It's awesome. Isn't that awesome? Could you eat it every day? Yes. Would you like to eat it every day? Yes. Would you like to have it for dinner tonight? Yes. Would you like to have it for breakfast in the morning? Yes. She likes the beef stew. Anyway, very picky eater. Could live on hot dogs and beef stew. That's about all it is. You know, some of those, uh, what are they, affinities for food kind of die out for kids. Not Kaya. You have to stay up here because if you jump off, it's going to hurt. Um, yeah, beef stew forever. That's all we would ever eat. And I like it a lot too. And today we're going to go over uh, the beef stew diet. Now I'm not going to make it the exact diet way because, let I me mean, look at me. Anyway, uh, me and diets just, yeah. Anyway, uh, so we're going to make some beef stew. First, let's go through the ingredients. So uh, let's see. What do we have here, Kai? Uh, Alright, what, what is this? I want you to pay close attention to this right here, the measuring devices. Just throughout today's video, please pay attention. We're going to start over here with one onion. One onion. We're going to chop those up in a minute. We're going to have uh, about four potatoes, um, good sized potatoes. I may or may not use all of them, I don't know. We've got some mushrooms, we've got a green pepper, we've got celery here. Uh, I might use more. But um, I forgot to get some at the store, and this is all I have. Uh, then we got uh, the, the two cans of diced tomatoes, two cans of green beans, drained, of course. And then you have your beef stew meat. See that? Beef for stew. Yeah. All right. Now we'll go back to here to, the, to some spices. We've got uh, some sea salt, some celery salt, some onion salt, some garlic powder some salt and pepper, beef stew seasoning mix, of course, and the key, slap your mama. That's right, go to slapyourmama.com, get you some of that. If you don't live in Louisiana, chances are, you don't know what slap your mama is. I was introduced because my daddy is down there in Louisiana uh, about, what, a year ago. He sent me a case, <coughs> let me show it to you. We got slap your mama, all kinds of slap your mama, yeah, anyway. Awesome stuff. Eat it on everything. 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 I put it on my apples. That's a lie. I really don't eat apples. Alright, so here we go. Hey, what happened to your knee? Fall down. What? Fall down. How often do you fall down? 300 times a day. How often was that? 300 times a day. Yeah. You always fall down. Yes, I do. Okay. And I always like did. Alright, let's get to cooking. How's that? Okay. Alright. Start to chop some stuff up over here. Two cans of green beans. My favorite part. What are they? I want to buy. 
beef stew, and diced tomatoes. Kaya diet. That's what I'm gonna do. Not that one. Good stuff in it. Yeah. It doesn't have all the salt and junk that it usually puts on. Alright, give me just a minute. Hold on. Alright. 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 This next part is kind of key. Don't cook it. I only used half of that onion because that's plenty. I gotta wash my hands. Alright folks, so we've cut up all the stuff, we put it in the pan, we filled it with water, we put the seasoning, beef stew seasoning on there, and uh, we're about to add all the different amount of spices. I want you to pay special attention to uh, the measuring devices down here, very important. All right, a few things for the diet that I was telling you about. You don't want to add the meat, but that is, it's basically uh, all those veggies, water, spices, salt, peppers, all that good kind of stuff. And uh, how the diet works is that's all you eat, ever. It will cleanse you. Trust me on that one. Uh, Eat as much of it as you want, because most of it in there is like zero calorie stuff minus the potatoes. But there's not enough in there to make a difference, you know what I mean? It's not going to hurt you any. Anyway, eat as much as you want. And uh, I believe, uh, and I wasn't following it real close because I was cheating a bunch, but I lost nine pounds the week that I was on it. That's good stuff. Anyway. You may need more of all of that stuff. Wow, see my nose hairs. All right, you may need more of all that stuff. I don't know. You can taste it now, and it will taste pretty bad. Don't think the whole thing is ruined, because it will taste completely different when we're done. Boiling and letting all the juices rise and mix in there, it will taste a lot different. And we're gonna boil, covered, for about 30 minutes. All right. Once you've let it boil for about 30 minutes, I usually like to let it simmer for another half hour or so, which we have done. You just don't know it because it looks like it all happened in like a minute. And this is what you get. Beef stew and a whole bunch of it, and that'll last me about two days. Ready to test out some beef stew? Yep. What do you think? Look at the camera and tell them. What do you think? Tell them. Yep, it's good. Alright. So there you have it. The first edition of This Ain't Your Mama's Kitchen. Beef stew edition. That's it, brothers. The world famous. Not yet. Soon to be, if y'all will make it and spread the word. Uh, beef stew recipe. You will notice if you are paying close attention. If you are paying close attention, the measuring cups are still nice and clean. And unused. Do it how you like it. Just use all those ingredients and it'll taste something like mine. Out of this world, beef stew. Peace. God bless y'all.